Hi guys, welcome back. This is another video combining both the 3T and the OnePlus 3. So this video request has came to me a lot of time here. Even I too wanted to make this video. So as the topic says in this video, I'll be showing you some of the differences that are going on between the official Oxygenos build and Open Beta. Now before we have 3T, we have only OnePlus 3. So that time we have the only the official build and the community build. So community build was introduced to, you know, uh, just to give you guys a, a features that are coming to the official you can even try that in the community build now there are so many issues were there even on open beta 2 when the OnePlus 3t came everything has been divided into open beta and the oxygenous official now according to the company they said that both the devices will be getting the same update as always and almost the same feature because there's not a much difference except just a processor all right so you might have seen that uh, we are getting the same build on the same day it happens sometimes and plus we got the first thing couple of hours later when the city got that so everything is going simultaneously now we have two kinds of builds only the open beta and the official oxygenous since i am showing you both the devices both the builds each time whatever is coming so i do get many comments like uh, which you should prefer which one you should use why what is the difference between that and so many requests about the can you please elaborate the differences features so there may be many features but what i figured out just some of the important features day-to-day -day features that you guys should be knowing and now there is one important difference i wanted to tell you guys like uh, what is the main meta open beta so open beta means you're going to get any of the new feature first on open beta it is first tested by the company feedback by the open developers by the company developers testers who are involved for that once that feature has been fully tested bugs have been fixed then it is moved to the official builds for the 3 and the 3d so it means that your open beta will may crash may not crash it may have sudden battery drain overheating anything can happen so if there is any such issue happens company is not going to roll out immediate update because you know there is a disclaimer if you install the open beta build there is going to be a lot of uh, kind of any issues can happen so you guys have to make sure ready for yourself so that you have to take with that so but in case there's something happens with the official build company will push out immediate hot fix quick fix so that we may have seen in the past so this is the difference between open beta and official in case you are stalling open beta build you guys have to make sure your mind ready like you may get any such issues on your phone anyway guys so let's get started anyway this is the deep run uh, true color red and this is the skin over wood so check out the videos they are pretty nice here I mean, this looks awesome so here's the phone oneplus 3d this is running the open beta build i just moved to the open beta here and i just kept 3t on the oneplus 3 in the same uh, official just to show you guys the differences now i'll be moving to this one here as you can see both are running on the same my security patch level and they got the same uh, 4.1.0 here 4.1 and this is the open beta 3 for the oneplus 3t and for the oneplus 3 it is as of now open beta 12. so now let's talk about the differences so i'll be starting with the launcher first so going inside the launcher you're not going to see much differences just in case you go into this customized section and uh, not here under the setting you can see uh, on the oneplus 3t which is running on the open beta now i'm not talking exclusively about the oneplus 3t since the both the devices are in the same open beta so if you are on the oneplus 3 open beta if you install on the oneplus 3 the open beta you're going to get the same thing here so it doesn't matter whether i, I will show you on the 3 or 3t everything is same all right so on the open beta you're going to get this as a switch layout so this is not a much difference here if you just check out the simplified layout click on the save here and just to see what kind of things you're going to get that so you're going to get this kinds of feature in which uh, you know some sort of optimization has been done so it's kind of ios layout you're going to get on the desktop there is no kind of app or concept so you can easily change it now again go back to the settings there is not much difference and you do have widgets option here now you can add it to simplified layout i'm just reverting to the original so that's all so in terms of launcher this is the only difference not much you're going to see only this layout feature otherwise everything exactly same going inside the app drawer there's not much difference all the launcher all the feature even the color accent bar it will be seeing what you select the same search bar options so nothing much difference here so now let's jump inside the setting and also let me show you guys here quick stuff here so as you can see uh, this is what uh, right now uh, I have made it to red actually this is not with the, any of the open beta official I just change the quick settings layout so in case you wanted to do on the oneplus 3 and the 3t and you can just uh, watch my previous video I'll put the link in the description it needs roots anyways uh, otherwise you cannot do that you can put any wallpaper in the background black red font any wallpaper there's a fixed size I guess uh, 1080 by 800 that should work so getting inside this uh, setting first here and this is my setting right here and actually, by the way i'm running this pixel icon pack 
because I kind of like that. So going inside, uh, you're not going to see much differences except uh, starting for the first year, you can see on the open beta, it is running as an open beta laboratory and the official, it is still a system AI tuner. Now on the, this is actually came on this open beta 3, on the open beta 2, there was no power control notification that you can find inside this other section. So you're going to get the same feature here. So hopefully in the future, company is trying to remove the system AI tuner do not disturb option has been moved out you can get the same under the status bar section inside the main setting so this is the difference in terms of the uh, setting here and otherwise starting from here there's not much differences to show you exactly until you go inside the deeper now you go inside this wi-fi setting you can see that here what's the difference so there were some major issues with the oneplus 3d and the three for the open beta builds like this wi-fi connections dropping a lot so company has fixed that by enabling the ipv6 support here and you have the further option scanning always available is there ipv6 support is there and you got the new um, network not everything is same except this ipv6 support that has been added so this is due to the fixing wi-fi issues and actually this is good too uh, you know a lot of the carriers are now switching to the ipv6 instead of ipv4 because they are running out of the ip addresses so in future you're going to get the same here and now let's go further and inside the display I wanted to show you something that has been added here and it's soon going to come to your device so downside you can see uh, there's a setting for the vr uh, when device is in the virtual reality mode there is something sitting here so i'm not sure whether snapdragon 820 phones can get this thing so you guys have to let me know because i have to check that out but i'm hoping that snapdragon 820 is also supporting this vr feature so you're going to get this feature soon on your phone so this is under there now under the developer options you do have an option here you need to enable the developer option first you guys have to click on this plug number seven to eight times so once you do that you get this developer option so here under uh, so under uh, open beta build you're going to get this picture color mode you can use as a srgb so in case you guys used to it so personally i'm not seeing much differences i am i don't mind either if this is fine i don't bother about you know making it to look warmer cooler. but anyway this feature is still in the open beta so you may get this feature uh, very soon whenever maybe the next build or upcoming next build in the future uh, srgb mode here now this is about guys in terms of the settings and tweakings that i have found out so in case something's missed you do have to let me know in the comments now get inside the application so important thing you will see here inside the official gallery application so here is the both the gallery application so this is a gallery app on the both phones now what is the difference here first off let me open a quick image here so everything looks same here but once you go inside this edit mode you can see the open beta build has a little bit advanced feature so if you guys can uh, click here last time you can see you have options to add the copyright slogan text which is as of now is not available on the official build so this again tested build it's working fine actually you need you don't need to depend on some third party editor in case you're sharing your photos on the twitter instagram you want to add your copyright or name something uh, right now i'm using this power director because my pixel and the nexus doesn't support this feature so I have to depend on it, but otherwise in case I'm sharing something from my uh, OnePlus 3 devices, I'm really using this feature, adding copyrights and stuff like the GIS support, which is actually nice, you should add that. This is the first feature, again, and there is option, if I just show you here, you can see, there is a direct option here, you can, on open beta builds, you can actually hide any of the photos and the folder itself, so check the previous videos of the latest build, how you can uh, check out the demo how it is work but this feature is there in case you're you know, kind of guy who take a lot of you know secret pictures and you want to hide something definitely open beta builds are recommended for you so this is in terms of your guys so uh, this is all the software features uh, i have showed you now let's step, talk about the benchmarking you might be thinking now open beta is faster or the official build is faster let me show you the quick benchmark results for both the 3 and 3t running the open beta and the official oxygen is built so in front of you is the OnePlus 3 Open Beta 12 and the official Oxygenus 4.0 scores. So uh, I'll tell you before you guys make any decision and point the uh, scores of the benchmarking whether you run the Antutu or the Geek, they always change. If you run it immediately, you find different results. If you run, you open so many applications, you run it, you find different results. So do not judge on that, those things. Both devices work almost similar. I did not felt any issues. Anyway, just for references, you can see Open Beta build is running slightly faster. It got 149. Uh, K and compared to the one, 145K here on the OnePlus 3. This is for the N2, this is the Geek benchmark, you can see the multi-core is again higher on this thing here because you know the company does some kind of tweaking on the open beta, they first test this in terms of improving the performance, if that works 
then they really push that to official bid so again the uh, geek benchmark is higher for the one plus three two now moving to the one plus three d so you can see three uh, t bills for the open bid again has a much higher score one fifty seven k compared to one forty eight for the official this for the entity two and again same for the uh geek benchmark again the scores are higher so you can easily see that open beta bills are performing faster so guys there it is a small quick set of differences based on you guys request so it took me a couple of days and time actually i'm not able to manage all the time so anyway guys so i'll be still moving to the open beta bill because you know on the it's almost going to be month on the first march i guess we got the open beta for the 3 and 3d and we have already got the official so usually they push one bill each month so it's going to be time very soon you're going to get open beta so if you're watching this video tutorial tomorrow so do not stall this latest bill but if you have planned to move to open beta so immediately stall the open beta 12 for the one plus three and the three for the one plus three t then you should easily get the update by ota then you do not have to depend on you know all the downloading bills and stuff so make sure to unmute your device and uh, stall the stock recovery then install it then it won't be any problem otherwise in case you're rooted you can use the adb side load feature and yes one more important point to switch between either of the wheels you cannot do it with you know establishing the drive you have to use adb side load otherwise this will be very difficult so make sure to set up uh, your computer with the adb fast boot minimal adb and the uh, official android sdk that i've shown you in the previous videos so that's it guys pretty much for this video in case you guys have still have concerns and queries you can connect me on twitter as the rgi support i have put all the links in the description and for the oneplus uh, oxynos playlist a lot of videos are there so thank you so much for watching and have a great day i'll talk to you very soon